Okay, the best way to show uh, exterior close-ups is in a video. Photos don't really come out very well and they're fairly easy. They're deceiving, I think. So I do do a lot of photos, but I also shoot all the videos. So um, Jeep's been almost fully restored. It really, uh, you could throw a paint job on it and it just, it'd be perfect. It really would be. Um, I have a guy here in town that can paint and uh, if that was something you're interested in. Um, I can get it painted for you prior to you picking it up or me shipping it. Uh, but that is not, the Jeep is as is, so you'll get it the way it is unless you tell me otherwise. Um, there's no accidents, there's no dings in the rear, there's absolutely no rust whatsoever. There's a couple of the paints chipped here and along. This is very common because people take on and off the hard top. Um, these are plastic and they do, uh, they chip as well fairly easily. Uh, the paint these days is made a lot better than it used to back then. Uh, the black that you see around that is because the the tub was uh, rust uh, rust proofed and um, waterproof by Rhino Line, so the entire tub inside is Rhino lined. And uh, now I was told this body is a galvanized body, but I need to look that up because I haven't actually. I've come across galvanized uh, frames before, but not actually a galvanized body. Um, it's got a little bit of a I'm just paint up there. This is common. These from the factory weren't painted the right way, and they peel the paint there. So, uh, but you, if you looked at that exterior, um, overall exterior video, this is a really sharp Jeep, and this is not to take anything away from it, but it is to give you an idea of what exactly uh, you will be receiving. So, um, super clean, and uh, if this had a um, had a paint job on it, this Jeep would easily pull about 10 grand here locally. Uh, you got to remember it's only got 77,000 original miles and it's got all the stuff that anybody would want on a Jeep and a lot more. So uh, I guess I'll show the tires. I normally do a separate video. These are brand new tires. They've got less than 200 miles on them. They are studdable and a nice set of wheels, mag wheels um, for the bottom. You can see how much tread. There's just a ton of tread because they are brand new. It's got a uh, nice brand new spare tire. It's uh, not a full size. It is a full size tire, but not a does not a matching tire to these. So, uh, but it would get you home, and that's what's important. And then a uh, quick note: I talked about this in my other video, but these brackets here are quick disconnect and and connect uh, front tow bar. So this Jeep's, uh, yeah, it's got 77,000 miles. 20,000 of those miles were towed. So this Jeep's actually only got 50,000 run miles on it. Well, 57,000 run miles on it. So um, uh, I have that. That's included with the cell. And uh, let me give you an option if you're looking at possibly picking up the, the Jeep. Um, so I think I've gone over everything. If there's something that I... Uh, the hard top, by the way, has been recently painted and is in perfect shape. It's black. Uh, it's shiny black. It's got the rear defroster and wiper blade, which you could hook up if you wanted to. These older Jeeps, um, early YJs, didn't come with uh, rear de defrost, but a lot of people wire them to to uh, to do that. So, oh, and uh, while I'm talking about, it, normally I show this kind of stuff. This is the best. This this, and I'll show a lot of this when I do an interior video, but. This handle here is not a factory handle. It's the way you want to go with Wranglers, though. I have two Wranglers sitting over there. You can see them. And they're both the same. Actually, those, those are a year older. But uh, they, um, this, the factory door handles, and this one was done right. It's painted, and everything was put back together, and it doesn't have any holes in it. But they break all the time, the old ones do. And there's a linkage in here. Um, and I'm not sure if this is a kit the guy found, or if he did this himself, or what. But... Uh, this it, it allows you to lock it. You can open it, close it. There's no there's no weird linkage in here going on. See, so normally it's up here, and uh, you just got away get done away with all that. So, uh, bravo to the guy who set this up because anybody who uh, owns Jeeps will tell you that um, that is the biggest nightmare. They're expensive to fix, and they always always break. So, um, something very cool it has, and that's on both sides. So, door seal up nice. They close fine. So. And they're the full steel doors, which is, again, something sought after, so...